Hey guys, so my wireless controller finally arrived from Amazon.com and I'm glad too because I really wanted to test out the gaming capabilities of this tablet. So let's get to it. So I have here the wireless controller for the Nvidia Shield tablet and right away guys I have to say that I'm reminded of an Xbox controller given the color, shape and button arrangement here. And that's not such a bad thing, this controller is said to have console grade controls and it's ultra responsive. It has a stereo headphone jack for chat and a microphone for voice search. It supports 6 languages and it says here that it's also compatible with the Shield Portable and the tablet of course. Let's go ahead and open up the packaging to see what we have inside of the box. And initially we're greeted by the controller front and center. Wow it's actually bigger than I thought here guys and it looks great. It feels nice in the hand and I'd actually say that it doesn't have a lot of weight to it which is a good thing when you're gaming for hours. Notice the USB port and the 3.5mm headphone jack placement here. We'll set this off to the side for just a moment while we continue checking through the packaging. Next we have the quick start guide here and I might actually need that so I'll set that off to the side for now. Underneath that I see we have the printed support guide here for the controller. We also have the USB cable but I didn't remove that from the packaging because I have so many of them readily available so I chose not to open this one. So that's it. According to Nvidia I now have the ultimate gaming tablet and the most advanced game controller. These are some pretty strong claims to live by. So over my next couple of videos let's just test it out. First let's get this controller paired up with the tablet and we can demo a couple of games from the Play Store. Taking a quick look around the controller you'll find a touchpad to control the mouse arrow, the volume up and down buttons, the joysticks, the d-pad and your action buttons. You even have a home, back and play button on the controller and pairing the controller is pretty easy. You simply tap this Nvidia button here. When it stops flashing the controller has been paired. It's that simple. As you can see here you can navigate the screens and menus with ease on the tablet using the joystick controls. I think I'm really going to enjoy this. Since I haven't completed the full review yet, if there's anything specific that you guys want to see, leave that in the comments below. Now let's go ahead and launch a game so that we can begin to see how the tablet handles. We'll start with Dead Trigger 2 and if you guys haven't tried out this game I'll leave the link down below for you. Once you get used to how the controls are mapped this game quickly becomes even more enjoyable. The controls are very responsive and I don't notice any lag between the time that I press the button and I see it on the screen. I kind of feel like I'm on a console guys. In my next video on this tablet I'll be connecting up the game to my TV and external monitor as well to check that out. Now guys I'm a Mac user but if this video series does well enough then maybe I could find a PC to test out the connection there. So if that's something you'd like to see be sure to thumbs up this video. Next up we have The Walking Dead Season 1. And in this game I find the controls to be a little loose. You touch the controls and they move. This is an adjustment for me but it's a good one nonetheless. I really enjoy the fact that I don't have to hold the tablet while I'm gaming. And I also feel more immersed in the story this way. My actions and decisions are coming a little bit faster. So I can't wait to see how this story turns out for me. In terms of performance so far guys I can't really say that I notice any types of issues here. This tablet and controller easily handles these games. What do you guys think so far about this tablet and controller? Leave a comment down below and share that with us letting us know. Are you thinking about getting this controller? Next up we've got Leo's Fortune and I actually enjoy playing this game here. I'm not even sure what kind of fuzzy creature Leo is but I just enjoy playing this adventure game. I think that the graphics here are great and I gotta say that with the controller it actually makes this game play a lot easier. It's easier to control Leo and his movement is nice and fluid. It takes away all the guesswork on what to press when and how. And now that I've got this controller I feel like I'll be playing this game for many more hours guys. So make sure that you check out Leo's fortune if you haven't already done that. I mean who knows you'll probably get better at it than me. Moving on we have Badlands and what can I say here guys this game is actually very nice and easy to play with the controller. So far I'm finding that all of the games that Nvidia says are optimized nicely for this tablet they actually are and they work pretty well. I wanted to start out by demoing games that actually had full controller support and those that are listed that way actually do guys there's no issues all the buttons work they're mapped correctly. 
And so far, I really don't have anything to complain about. The controller's a nice size, it feels great in the hand, and gameplay actually is taken to the next level. Honestly guys, I have to say that I'm not disappointed at all. The experience here is better than I could have imagined, so if you're thinking about this, I'd say so far, it's a go. Especially at this price point. So just a couple more games here guys, and we'll kind of fly through these. If you'd like to see how a specific game does on the device, hit me up in the comments below. Leave that there and let me know, and I'll try and incorporate that into the next video. After gaming with this controller, I'd have to say that I'm very pleased between the two. If you do a lot of gaming on your Android tablet and you're looking for a console-like experience, then this setup won't let you down. It's easy to become immersed and forget that you're on a tablet, especially when it's stationary. I've been recording now to make this video for about two hours straight and the battery is still above 80% here guys on this tablet. I think that this is great and it should mean that the new Kepler GPU is doing its job. Alright guys, so there you have it. If this is the way that you game, then this could be the tablet and controller for you. So far I'm saying that if I didn't already buy this, that I definitely would. There's plenty of games here to choose from that are already optimized and ready to go. And in case you're wondering, I didn't forget about trying to in Half-Life. I'm saving those for the full review. That being the case, guys, I'll go ahead and close out this video with some Amazing Spider-Man 2. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe down below, rate, and comment. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.